The five foot four inch playing injured, but getting it done. Dee Dee was a standout basketball player for Marshall High School. She dropped 20 points, leading Marshall to a state championship in 2018 and was named player of the game. As this family gathers to grieve, they've already chosen to forgive. Whoever did it, man up. Confess. I'll come and say, tell you face to face, I forgive you. Twenty-two-year-old Deonla Rainey, affectionately known by family and friends as Dee Dee, had the sweetest personality, one of the most positive people you could ever meet. Determined, caring, understanding, just an overall amazing young woman. While in high school, Deonla and her twin sister Mianda led the Marshall Metropolitan High School girls basketball team to the Class 2A state championship in 2018. While Deonla continued playing basketball in college, the pandemic changed the course of her life and pushed her to focus on building an at-home daycare business with her twin sister. The sisters recently purchased a home in Maywood, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago, and were ready to expand their successful daycare. The two picked out the perfect home with their kids' happiness as top priority. Deonla also began a YouTube channel with her long-term boyfriend. The two met in April of 2019 while he was working at Foot Locker and bonded quickly over their love for sneakers and basketball. The two were looking forward to a trip to Houston together for her birthday in October. What up, y'all? <laughs> it's me, Tyrus. And me, Dee. You know, we back with another video. We want to first thank everybody that subscribed and viewed our first video that we made this is us establishing ourselves on YouTube. We're really trying to do what we gotta do out here. A show. That money. You <laughs> Diddy. That's um That's her that's, that's her name. It. Diddy is straight Diddy. Yeah. Right. Maybe later on I'll tell my real government name, but that's police right there. As she did every Sunday, Diddy headed out to get her car washed, having no idea of the events that would soon unfold. Around two PM on July twenty fourth, Maywood police were called to the 700 block of South 6th Avenue in Maywood for shots fired. Upon arrival, they would find a young woman lying face down on the grass, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. Police immediately initiated life-saving measures. She jumped out of a vehicle, shot at her car after she parked in her driveway. Her mother, Margot, had just parked behind her and heard the gunshot. The victim was identified as 22-year-old Dion Laraney. She was taken to Loyola University Hospital, where she sadly succumbed to her injuries after being shot in the back three times. According to her sister-in-law, Deonna was parking her vehicle on the side of her home when a man jumped out of another vehicle and began firing shots into Deonna's car. She then scrambled out of the car and collapsed onto the driveway. Her mother, who witnessed the shooting, said she believes Deonna was simply at the wrong place at the wrong time and that she was not the intended target. Dorothy Gators, Marshall's legendary girls basketball coach, says Deonna was one of the most memorable players she's coached in 45 years. She describes her as someone who always did the right thing. Whenever you needed something, she would do it right away. Some kids find ways to cheat, not Deonna. Deonna was a great role model to those around her, and she was known for her outstanding and unique character. The family held a memorial service on Walnut and 6th Avenue in Maywood Monday night with several family and friends traveling from out of town to attend. Deonna was a big part of the Marshall community and was important to so many people. Teal and white balloons were released into the sky. And the 22-year-old and her twin sister were just at a Marshall High School alumni event last week, and today that same Marshall community, along with the dozens you see behind me, showed up for her. They stole our heart. There's a big hole there now. Yeah, I ripped us apart. That was our little sister, <laughs> the one that brought joy to the family. This Maywood mother watched her daughter come into this world and yesterday held her moments before she lost her life. Today, 22-year-old Dion Rainey, better known as Dee Dee, honored outside her family home for the joy she brought to all who knew her. The vigil at 6th Avenue in Walnut, at the same place where Maywood police say they got a report of shots fired yesterday afternoon. Dee Dee's family said the former Marshall High School star basketball player was shot in the back three times after an unknown man jumped out of a vehicle, shot at her car after she parked in her driveway. 
Her mother, Margot, had just parked behind her and heard the gunshots. Every time I close my eyes, I see this over and over and over. I haven't been to sleep because it's so traumatic to me to see my youngest child basically pass away in front of me. Dee Dee and her twin, Mianda, had just moved to Maywood recently with plans to expand their successful daycare business. Plans that now feel empty, she says, after the loss of her twin sister. And my sister, she, they just took her away from me. We never got the chance to see what we would be 10 years from now. This is tough. It's the toughest thing Margot Rainey will ever have to do. She watches her youngest daughter, Deanna Rainey, known affectionately as Dee Dee, was shot and killed Sunday in Maywood near 6th Avenue and Walnut Street. I just have a, a hole in my heart. That was my baby, that was my youngest. And I mean, it's indescribable. It just really hurts. And when I got here, my sister was laying on the floor. Mayanda Rainey says she found her twin sister face down on the front lawn in front of the home they ran a daycare out of. Family says someone pulled up, got out of a car, and started shooting at Dee Dee, hitting her several times in the back. I can't feel nothing. I'm still numb to it right now. I'm still in shock. Dee Dee didn't deserve this. Brenda Blackman knew Dee Dee from her days on the court. You see her play basketball when she played. It was her soul, her heart. She loved the basketball very well. She's not the type of person. She's not no street person. She's a beautiful young lady. God, we just want to say thank you for all the laughs. Yes. One, two, three. I love you, Dee Dee. Chicago Public Schools Sports Director. David Rosengard released a statement Monday afternoon on Deonla. We are shocked by the passing of Deonla Rainey. Deonla was an integral part of the Marshall community, an incredible legacy as a state girls basketball champion. And her impact as a member of the Marshall and CPS family will always be remembered and honored. Our thoughts are with the Rainey family and the greater Marshall and CPS community at this time. Police are asking anyone with information to come forward. The investigation is ongoing.